Hello, welcome to Celebrity Tarot. Let's take a look and see what is happening in love during this time. What are the messages in love? What needs to be said right now that possibly hasn't been said? Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And welcome for everybody that is new. What are the vibes here in love? <clears throat> mend so we have mend here so chemistry I actually never felt anything like this before and we have i want to fix our connection i've been trying to give you signs of me wanting to fix it but one of the signs that i gave you i felt like i was rejected so someone here is feeling like they were rejected or someone here is feeling like i'm going to give you a few more weeks here or a few more yeah a few more weeks i'm feeling to fix this connection okay so i feel like someone here still has hope uh someone here still has faith that this is possibly um not over like we're able to make this work we're able to connect i get that if there's a space between you and someone here whether it's like a physical space or emotional well obviously it's not emotional but a physical like there's a distance to some degree or we haven't been speaking i do feel like there is some sort of protection happening at this time where someone here definitely needs to analyze something about themselves or analyze something about their environment or analyze something about this connection right sometimes we have separations with people and oh look at this and we have this waiting game energy and we have focus on yourself this is going to be very important for some of you that are watching, especially in this amazing connection that you're in. Um, what it does is it allows you and allows your person to really focus on self and allows growth to happen. So there is this energy of we are still fantasizing about one another. We do still think about one another here, but there's something about I need to learn how to focus on myself and focus on the present moment when certain things are happening. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to put this to the side here. Let's take a look and see how your person is feeling about you. Okay, let's see what the vibes are and how this person's feeling about my viewers. Let's see. We have the six of cups right there. Okay. So again, right. We have someone here that, I mean, they clearly can't stop thinking about you, right? They clearly look at this, look at this energy, bottom of the deck, four swords. I clearly can't get you out of my mind. I've been thinking about you all day, literally. Okay. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about some of the things that were said, but more so I feel like what's happening with this person is there's this energy of like, I'm starting to realize my flaws. Okay. So there's this energy of, there's this level of harmony that you bring into this relationship or bring into this connection with this person. Um, this level of beauty, this level of love, this level of balance that you bring into this person's life. And I feel like that's one of the things that this person has been thinking about. They think about it a lot. They think about you a lot here. There's also an energy of, wow, I'm happy with you right? Even though I haven't said anything, I still think about this, right? Look how we both come together. This could be like a secret relationship where maybe this person hasn't really shared their emotions about how they feel with you with other people, or this person has not, or this person's not ready to bring this out to the public. There's something about like secret relationship here. Someone's feeling like they need to protect their emotions. Let's get a little bit more about how this person's currently feeling about my viewers, please. Scared. I just heard, why do I keep thinking about you? Why? While I'm at work, while I'm doing mundane things, I keep thinking about you here. There's like, I will tell you right now, there's a lot of you, you may not think someone here thinks about you because of their actions, right? Their actions don't match up with their words and it doesn't align, but there's something happening, right? And for some of you, again, allow things to resonate. There's something that's happening here where this person is, they could be at a distance, but this person is missing you so much. Okay. So there's something about like a deeper a deeper emotion. Like I constantly keep thinking about you. And I feel like I'm going to tell you right now, I feel like it scares this person, right? One of the things that scares this person the most is like, you might even be the one. 
So this is someone here that constantly thinks about you. This energy normally comes from, I know I did something wrong and that's why you're still on my mind, but I'm not saying anything. We did see the four swords energy. So it's like you're on my mind, but I'm not saying anything. I feel you. We both feel each other. Telepathic connection. And for some of you, you're just like, well, I'm not really interested in this person, but there's something about guilt. There's something about, there's something about fear that interrupted this connection as well for some of you. Especially with this devil. It could have been a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces energy here. I feel like this is someone here at some point, like they were looking down on this relationship, but now they're missing all the greatness or they're missing the comfort. They're missing the connection. I'm missing you. I'm missing your joy. I'm missing us. I'm hearing, right? And I feel like there's this energy of you coming off a bit aloof or you may tell me how many times this has popped up. If you watched, what was it? I think it was the last two extended that I've done. There's something about resentment here. Someone feels like you won't forgive them for something. Like you won't forgive me, right? Like, like the best thing that happened to me, there's something about you being very innocent or there's something about your spirit that's very innocent. This person's now looking at this situation and saying, I feel like you're walking away or I feel like you may not like let go of a grudge. There's something this person did and I feel like it's like the biggest biggest elephant in the room right now. It's like you know what you did. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why reconciliation has not happened as quickly as it's supposed to happen. So for some of you, it's like I'm walking away or you're giving off the impression of walking away and you're giving the impression of focusing on yourself here. But for some of you, you could be waiting for some sort of gesture. But again, there's something about this person looking at you and seeing you walk away or feeling as if you walk away. This person could be very intuitive as well. All right. But let's take a look and see what your energy is stating and what you have going on here. But again, look at this energy. Maybe we talked about a business together. We talked about our futures. We talked about a lot of great things here together. And I feel like it's like instantly, this was an instant connection. Look how afraid someone is. Tell me how my viewers are feeling at this time. How does my viewers feel at this time? Like, yeah, you have to keep your, your strength. Like I have to keep my boundaries to love you. I have to do that. I have to learn my lessons. There's something about lessons and there's something about you being very confident at this time that's going to be very important for you. And what I mean by that is like you're, you're holding on to the beast. Are you wanting to say something? Or maybe you're wanting to react or you're wanting to, maybe in the last couple of hours, you're like, I was so close to sending that, that message of, you know, trying to address something, but maybe I didn't. Some of you, maybe you did, but there's an energy of I'm holding myself back, right? I'm holding that energy back because God knows I have a lot to say. So there's something about you holding yourself back. This person may not be used to things like that or may not be used to energies of people holding themselves back, especially in a connection like this. Because if I look, when I look at your person, your person feels as if there should have been a reaction from you already, or there should have been some sort of, you know, text message alert from you already, or there should have been something here. And for some reason, someone here could be a little confused here in terms of why. I do feel like you're reflecting a lot, right? You're in this place where you're trying to cover up your sadness, you're looking to see, like, is this worth it? How are my viewers also feeling? Yeah, I'm looking at the past here, and I'm trying to figure out how to not replay certain things. How are my viewers feeling? Yeah, so this person's on your mind a lot. But it's like I'm, I'm holding myself back. You have so much love to give. It's, it's amazing how much love you have to give here. And I feel like for some of you, it's like I would love to forgive this situation. I would love to say something within this situation, but I feel like my hands are tied. Maybe for some of you, you feel like this person really put you in a situation where, you know, they have to come in and fix it. So there's something about you, meaning your person has to come in and fix this. They have to come in like the ball is in their court and you're feeling like I've done enough here. And this is why, again, you have the queen of cups and again, this 10 of swords here. It's like my hands are tied. If I say anything, do anything, I'm giving up my strength. 
If I were to reach out to this person, this person's going to think it's okay to keep doing this. And the chemistry is here, right? We have the chemistry and we have regret here. I wish this never happened. So for some of you, I guess you could let me know what happened. But there's something here that happened. And someone here is saying, well, you fix it. You did it, so you fix it here. And look at this. So this is an energy of like, are they going to fix it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Are they going to realize what they did? Or they're just going to sit in their fears and just let me walk away here? Let's get a little bit more for this connection and see what else is happening. What else is happening in this connection here that we could possibly see? The sun. Look at the two of you here. Some of you have been dreaming about this situation like it's been on your mind. Why is all of this happening? Someone here expressed themselves and I feel like that scared someone. I told them the truth. And it scared them. I told them exactly how I felt and it scared them. Here, I stood up to them. Some of you, it's like I stood up to this person. Why is all this happening? Why is this all taking place here? Look at that. The truth and the death card. Yikes. What happened? What happened here? For some of you, this person didn't think that you would end things like this. There's something about things shifting at this time that is so relevant in this connection. There's something about like a change that someone here needs to make. And I feel like it's your person. Of course, it could be you. But right now, I feel like it's your person. There's something here that this person has to change. There's something here that this person knows that they have to work on or that they have to dismiss. There's something going on here that maybe like a truth came out or this person's real characteristics came out. And now someone's like pending. Are you going to change or are you going to give up? And I feel like some of you are just waiting for that moment. Like I'm waiting for the moment for this person to actually show me exactly what they want to do. So I do feel like there's like this energy again, and we're going to go back here. I feel like the collective, a lot of you could be in this energy of like, I am waiting to some degree, but I'm not waiting in vain, right? I'm not waiting in pain. Like I'm waiting for this person to do the right thing. I'm waiting for this person to surpass their fears and surpass whatever is going on with this person's life. And I'm waiting for this person to come into a place of fairness. And there's something also about a relationship. A lot of you also are in a place where you're saying, say, Lavi, this has to be balanced. Like I cannot be in an imbalanced relationship. I just can't. And for some of you here, spirit is saying, you know that you, you need to end this, or there's something here that you need to end because of balance. So take it how it resonates. There's something about imbalance, right? If you recall, you had the Empress energy here. Now you have the Queen of, Queen of Cups, which means like I'm constantly giving. I was constantly showing up. But now for some reason, like spirit is putting me in a position where I can't even do anything. So now the biggest question is, is this over or do we continue with one another? Okay, so let's get a little bit more here. Okay, I actually want to use, I want to use this deck. Okay, because it's going to give me some more here. Let's see a little bit more here. Of course, hit the like button if this resonates with you here. I do feel good about this reading, I will say. I feel like someone here is going to, especially with that death energy, that gives me a lot of transformative vibes, right? I do feel like we're leaning into a new beginning in terms of what it looks like. Of course, we have to take a look here. But I just feel like there's like brighter energies coming in or brighter things coming in, okay? How does this person feel? Oof, I know, I know I didn't just see that. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that come out. Because I already knew that was gonna come out. Okay, I already knew that was gonna come out. Um, how does this person feel about my viewers and actions being taken here? And the outcome for this relationship. Let's get the outcome for this relationship and additional messages from spirit. Okay, stay tuned for the extended. It will be up next here. Someone here is worried. I could tell you that. 
Someone here is worried, so we'll take a look and see what that is about. We'll clarify that here and see what the messages are. Stay tuned for the extended up next. I love you and have a beautiful one. And I'm hearing, forgive me, I messed up. I'm scared of this intense love. This person hasn't felt this before. A lot of you are connecting with a soulmate. You're connecting with someone here that you've known from a different past life. I'm telling you, this is someone here that's feeling something that they haven't felt before. Something's different. Something's intense. Something 